God is doing something different. In the 1900s and the 1940s and 50s, we saw a great healing revival going around the world. And then we saw a lot of problems in that healing revival. There was a lot of jealousy, a lot of different things going on, and it ended up uh, falling apart. Out of that revival, the charismatic renewal came forth. They emphasized being baptized in the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, to give the prophecy started to come forth more and more. But there's something that the charismatic renewal missed because John the Baptist said, Jesus will baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And the fire is what brings humility. The tribulations and the trials we go through is what breaks us and makes us fit vessels for the purposes of the Lord. So that's where the charismatic renewal missed out. And that's why we have some of the error in that big movement nowadays. So in this day, I don't believe God's going to raise up a superstar. Truth be told, if you talk to me 45 years ago, I was going to build the largest church in New Jersey. I was on the way of doing it. Had a tremendous revival meetings going on all the time. I was on the radio. I was getting ready to go on TV. All these different things. And the Lord kept saying through my wife, that's not what God's will is for you. And I kept saying, get behind me, Satan. We're going to do it. We're going to build it. We're going to go big. And she's saying, God wants a small church. He's not looking for something big. And as time went by, I began to realize how right she was. God is not looking to raise up a superstar ministry. He's going to raise up a generation. And that generation will be in tune with the Holy Spirit to do His will. And that generation will act as one.